This video outlines one of the unconventional use of VLOOKUP of which most of us have experienced or have tried while dealing with Excel and uh, analysis with the help of Excel. Now what this particular uh, sheet over here shows is we have the data set of some products which the company is trying to sell or company sells and uh, sales data for the last 12 months. And uh, what we want to do is uh, we want a quarter wise summary of the sales for a particular product. So first we what we can do is we can start with a little bit of uh, creation of a list which is over here. You can you can go to data data validation and uh, you can create a list of all the products so that it is dynamic in nature when we apply VLOOKUP. Now we want to have a data for quarter one. Now when we are dealing with this, so quarter one is basically January, February, March. We can term this as a quarter one so we can merge this and uh, uh, write this as quarter one. Similarly, April, May, June is quarter two and quarter three and quarter four basically. So this is quarter two, this is quarter three, and this is quarter four. Fine. Now we want summation of quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four in respectively. So using VLOOKUP, how can we do that? Now if we use VLOOKUP, then only one particular output will be presented. How? So if I write VLOOKUP, so my lookup value is computer. My table array is this entire table array. My column index number is 2 because I want data for the month of January. My range lookup is basically 0. So it gives me 952. Now what if I want all these three figures 952, 794 and 703. So there is a solution over here. So I can convert VLOOKUP into an array function and how do we do that? So instead of writing just 2, I can write 2, 3, 4 and I can press Control, Shift and Enter. Now it will throw you an error. Why? Because we did not f complete the bracket. So whenever you are doing that you just have to complete the bracket and that's the most important aspect because the Excel will not do it by itself. So you start a function with a curly bracket and remember this is not a round bracket this is a curly bracket. So if you just press enter it will the output will not change which is basically 952. Now I want to display, so my first condition is I want to display the first quarter results. Now how do I do that? So I just I just select three, three cells and I enter the formula. I press control, shift and enter. So I'll get the output like this. So that's the first output which is I'll get the output for the first three months. But that's not the final output which I want. This is one of the application if you want to do that. So this is not the final output per se. If I want to sum this directly and present the sum directly in one particular cell. So then how do we do that? So uh, we just write this again. We look up. Look up value is my computer. My table array is this entire cell or entire table array. I'll freeze this. My column index number is going to be 2, 3, 4 and my range lookup is false. I want the exact match. Okay and I press Control shift enter. It says 952. Now I want to sum this. So I sum the all the outputs. I close the bracket again Remember one thing whenever you are dealing with an array function if at all you change the formula you have to press control shift enter again and here is my final output which is 
2449 which is displayed over here you can see this uh, towards the end sum is 2449 which is over here which is the output for the quarter one now let's delete this third learning which is or the third output if I want to delete the output for this particular VLOOKUP which I have used as an array function to display these three particular cells or populate these three cells then I cannot delete one cell at a time I have to delete all three cells at a time so I have to select three again and I have to press delete if I try and delete one cell at a time then it will throw an error you cannot change part of an array so I have to select all three cells and just press delete now my final outcome is going to be something like this sum v lookup my lookup is computer or basically cell b15 i freeze this cell column index is 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma false and i press ctrl shift enter it gives me 2449 now if i change this to let's say phone my output changes automatically 1830 same is the same is the case with quarter two i can copy and paste the same formula but instead of two three four i just have to i just have to do this five six seven five comma six comma seven since i have changed the formula i have to press ctrl shift enter again five six seven then third quarter is basically eight 9 10 since I have changed the formula I have to press ctrl shift enter again and same is the case with quarter 4 13 and ctrl shift enter again this is how it works if I change this to tablet it will give me a different kind of an output this is particularly useful when we are dealing with the entire bigger dashboard so this is one part of a dashboard which gets into so this can be used in let's say finance if i want to have a stocks price uh, and i want to average that depending on my ranges now instead of the next question is instead of this two three and four if i want this also to be dynamic can i do that yes which will be a part of the next video but in the meantime you can try by yourself how can you make this dynamic as well you can make this dynamic as well also you can so coming to the examples coming to the practical applications you can do a stock averaging depending on the dates depending on the ranges you can also do this in the marketing exercise sales exercise which is already we have shown hr average salaries anywhere in any particular dashboard on any kind of a data you can do this instead of some you can use average it's just the application which matters the the whole point is we look up can be used on multiple values at the same time otherwise we would have written we look up thrice and that would have been very cumbersome okay uh, so that's pretty much about this video how do you make this dynamic will be a part of the next video thank you